Alright gang, for this one you're going to want to turn your smell of vision off. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick uh, DIY tip on how to clean your dogs up after they've been sprayed by a skunk. It's Halloween, happy Halloween to you. We woke up this morning with a particularly nasty treat. Uh, the boys, Keith and Connor, were sprayed by a particularly aggressive skunk. Came right up to the fence and sprayed them really well. So, um, unfortunately I do have a lot of experience with this. Uh, so I'm just going to share what I've found uh, works well for our for us, um, compared to what I used to use back in the 90s. Um, so needless to say, <clears throat> we're sitting outside today because we all stink, and it's a lot more tolerable uh, out here than it is in the house. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the solution mixed up, um, and I'll show you what works for me. And if you have something different that works for you, please post it down below. Uh, if you have questions or comments, leave them, and I can try to answer them as best I can. All right, let's go get that mixed up. All right, so this is a pretty simple solution. Some of this you probably already have around your home. I had to run out because of the quantities I needed uh, and grab it this morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with just a quarter. This is a solution for one dog now. I have enough here for two dogs. Obviously, I need to wash them both, but I'm going to do them separately. Uh, I'm going to do a quarter cup of uh, baking soda. And I like to use a, uh, a container like this that I can actually pour and make sure I'm not getting in their eyes. Obviously, that's important, right? Okay, so you're going to use a whole uh, quart of the 3% antiseptic um, hydrogen peroxide, okay? Now here's the thing about this, you don't want to make it up in advance and then seal the lid because uh, it's going to emit gases and build pressure. Uh, so you want to mix it up and use it. In fact, after I get done shaking it, I, I release the cap. Okay, back in the 90s I used to use beer and uh, tomato juice, right? You just, you know, before everyone had Google Foo available to them, uh, or mastered the art of Google Foo, I should say. Google wasn't even around back then. Uh, you know, it was all word of mouth, wives tales type thing. So I used uh, beer and um, beer and tomato juice. And of course, I never knew the ratio, so I was sure to buy enough for both of us. <laughs> uh, that was my old buddy Jack. Flash a picture right here. Rest in peace, Jack. Okay, so one uh, teaspoon of... Uh, Dawn or actual dish soap. I use Dawn because they used it on the ducks when uh, the Exxon Valdez had, his, had its incident and uh, you know Marge used to soak in it, right? So it can't be all that bad. Okay, so what we're going to do is put the cap on, shake it up, and again, you don't want to leave it. Release the pressure. I'm going to take it upstairs and uh, start washing one of the boys. Connor's easier. And then what I do is I, I do a quick rinse um, and then I follow it up with Regular shampoo, you know, I use a you know a high quality shampoo that you know is not going to irritate their skin. Whatever you use in the past, um, you know the other the only other thing I'd suggest, and this is just something I do, is I warm this up a little bit, um, you know, so we don't traumatize them when they're in a warm bath. You put cold solution on it. I just set this in a warm bowl, or you can set it on your your boiler or something like that for just a few minutes. Get a little bit warm. So I'm off. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this little tip's been helpful. Happy Halloween to you. Uh, if you're going through this process, I know it's not fun, but if you love your animals, it's worth it. And this really works. If you have another solution that works, leave it down below. If you want to see more tips like this, hit that subscribe button and give me that thumbs up if you think this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.